Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I hope that you are fine today and ready to learn the basics of English grammar. Before we proceed, I would like you to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for regular updates. Here is the topic of our today's discussion. We shall be doing conversions and we shall be converting the given affirmative sentences of present continuous tense into the negative and interrogative forms. I want to tell you that if you want to know more about the correct usage of present continuous tense, you must watch my another video. The link of that video is available in the description below. Let me tell you about the affirmative sentence formation of present continuous tense now. First comes the subject in the start of the sentence. Then you add is, am, or are as helping or auxiliary verbs. Then you put the fourth form of the verb. I have already told you that if you add ing at the end of the first form of the verb, it becomes the fourth form of the verb. Another name of the fourth form of the verb is present continuous. Then you add the object or extension and at the end you have full stop. Let's apply this rule and form new sentences. The first sentence is a dog is chasing a cat. The second sentence is they are sleeping. And the third sentence is I am going to the park. Following this rule, I have written these three sentences. And now we shall be converting these three sentences into the negative and interrogative forms. And before converting them, I would tell you about the correct sentence formation. Let's talk about the negative sentence formation. Here is the formula. The subject comes in the start of the sentence. Then comes the helping verb. Is, am or are. Then you add not. Because this is the negative sentence. Then comes the doing word or the form of the verb. Then you add the object or extension along with the full stop. Look at the first example. Your affirmative sentence was a dog is chasing a cat. Your negative sentence becomes a dog is not chasing a cat. Your second affirmative sentence was they are sleeping. Its negative form would be they are not sleeping. Here is the third sentence. Your affirmative sentence was, I am going to the park. So, its negative form would be, I am not going to the park. You will have noticed that after the auxiliary verb or the helping verb, I have added not in the negative sentences of present continuous tense. Let's talk about the interrogative sentence formation now. Here is the formula. You take out the auxiliary verb in the start of the sentence. Is, am or are. Then you add the subject. Then you put the fourth form of the verb. Then comes the object or extension. And at the end of the interrogative sentence, you always have question mark. Let's convert those sentences into the interrogative forms. Your affirmative sentence was a dog is chasing a cat. So you will replace the positions of the subject and the auxiliary verbs and by interchanging their position, your sentence would be converted into its interrogative form. So your sentence would be like this. Is a dog chasing a cat? 
your second sentence was they are sleeping so you will interchange the positions of the auxiliary verb and the subject and your sentence would look like this are they sleeping your third sentence was i am going to the park again you replace or interchange the positions of subject and helping verbs and rest of the part would remain the same and your sentence would become am i going to the park now let me help you and elaborate it more with the help of the examples you are supposed to convert the following affirmative sentences of present continuous tense into the negative and interrogative forms the first sentence is i am taking a cup of tea your negative sentence would be i am not taking a cup of tea here is your interrogative sentence which is am i taking a cup of tea see the second statement we are watching an interesting movie here is the negative statement we are not watching an interesting movie here is your interrogative sentence are we watching an interesting movie the third statement is it is raining heavily its negative form is it is not raining heavily here is an interrogative statement is it raining heavily i hope that this exercise would help you more in understanding the concept that how should the given affirmative sentence of present continuous tense be converted into its negative and interrogative form i want you to practice the following these statements from 1 to 5 are given to you these are the affirmative sentences of present continuous tense i want you to convert them into the negative and interrogative forms and after you have done your work you should match your answers from this solution which is given to you thank you so much for watching see you with another video till then take care allah hafiz